So not even a year ago, a Disney exec came out saying that they wanted 50% of their Disney characters to be LGBT Disney children. Mm -hmm. They wanted 50% of their characters LGBT. And would you look at that? Over the last three months of 2022, they have dropped over 2.4 million subscribers on Disney Plus. They are suffering, they're failing, not only in the regular Disney properties, but in Star Wars, in Marvel. Everything has crashed and burned. We've been trying to tell them this. We've been trying, we've been screaming this from the rooftops. Go woke, get broke. That's how it is. And especially with Disney, that you know, when you hear Disney, you think, okay, this is children's entertainment. But let's not play like they haven't always been corrupt for a long time. We know this. But they've just been a lot more open with it lately. They're in panic mode now. Now they're trying to bring back some legacy properties. They are trying their best to clean up this mess. And they've got a lot of damage control and a lot more stuff to do than announcing Toy Story 5 to gain people's trust again. When it comes to children and the content you are putting out to children and indoctrinating children... That's where it's going to take a lot for people to start trusting the content that they're putting out. Now, let's just go ahead and dive into this video and start with this Variety article that talks about Disney Plus dropping 2.4 million subscribers. It's their first loss, okay? And there is a significant transformation underway. This is what a lot of us <laughs> have been saying in this social commentary space though is get woke go broke man they're gonna have to learn with our wallets that is when we start stop spending money on the trash that they've been putting out the terrible ideologies the satanic ideologies to be honest that they've been pushing out for children to see uh that is what's going to make things stop. When the money stops, they're going to have to stop. And yeah, it looks like that has already begun with 2.4 million subscribers lost in the last three months of 2022, marking the streaming service's first decline since launching in late 2019. While the Mouse House's quarterly earnings topped Wall Street's estimates thanks to a surge in revenue at Disney's theme parks, okay? So the theme parks keeping them afloat, apparently. So overall, Disney posted revenue of $23.51 billion, up 8%, and adjusted earnings per share of $0.99 cents for the quarter uh, ended December 31st, 2022, okay? Um, so... All right, this gives a big breakdown of all of the financial stuff, which I'm not here to do right now. But Disney Plus, Disney's content, their their entertainment content that they're making beyond the theme parks are really in a bad place. And I think if anything, what we've been seeing even with uh, in on the gaming side of things when, with entertainment, Hogwarts Legacy really demonstrated that you don't want to pander to this woke crowd. They ain't got money, okay? They tried all they could to boycott everything. Look how that turned out. It's a massive success. Um, and so right here, we also have Walt Disney Company confirms layoffs impacting 7,000 employees, which is a lot of employees. It's uh, just over 3% of their entire employment. So at the end of the day, they still have a crap ton of people, but still 7,000 employees. That is quite a lot. And here it says Walt Disney Company may begin selling movies and shows to other companies. They're scrounging around. They are desperate at this point. They need to do something like this, though. I don't think Disney Plus ever needed to exist in the first place. I think that they could have just stuck with selling their stuff on Netflix, on Hulu, especially on like Netflix, right? Um... And just profiting that way. But then they have their own service. In theory, they have plenty of content that they'd be able to use with not only classic Disney materials, but with Marvel and with Star Wars. But unfortunately, what happened is this woke cult, this satanic ideology, has been a cancer to traditional Disney. Or not even, they're not traditional anymore, but to Disney itself, to Marvel, and to Star Wars. It has just infested and ruined some iconic 
properties and people are over it and people are done with it. Despite what you see on Twitter and all the retweets and stuff from the whacktivist, despite what they are saying and despite what they're liking and what they're retweeting, they're clearly not supporting it or they clearly in number are not as vast as social media tries to make it look or how try social media makes it look in general okay so now they are disney is desperate <laughs> this to me i saw this on my timeline earlier you have tim allen saying see you soon woody you are a sad strange little man and you have my pity and off we go to a number five to infinity and beyond the toy story five okay they're working on Toy Story 5. Tim Allen is reprising his role. We already saw what happened with that new Buzz Lightyear movie that, gosh, I did not even waste my time watching. But when they didn't have Tim Allen voicing Buzz, uh, it made a lot of people salty, and rightfully so. They had their whole, like, backstory. They had their own, oh, well, this is the this is the fictional version within the fictional version. <laughs> their, their fictional inception that they tried to explain that with but fans were not happy because you just don't have Buzz Lightyear without Tim Allen but Tim Allen is too based for Disney right uh, apparently not anymore I feel like this is just really uh, not only just trying to hey let's go into the tried and true Toy Story everyone loves Toy Story right and then having Tim Allen announce that he's reprising his role it's like let's try to get that based crowd okay get that based crowd's attention right now that's what this feels like to me now does that mean this isn't going to be good no it might be good but this does look like a desperate attempt of Man, we gotta, we gotta pick stuff up. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta do something. They, they are desperate. And not only with Toy Story, but they're working on Toy Story 5, Frozen 3, and Zootopia 2. So I don't know for sure how long these have been in development. But I mean, look at some of the recent stuff they've come out with. This right here, front and center, okay? With this show, just everything, the premise... And everything behind it completely vastly inappropriate for the young audience that that was even about, uh, that that was even targeted for. Um, but the, I mean, these three, these three have already been massive successes. I'm surprised that they weren't focusing on that before. And I do like to see new stories. New stories are awesome. We shouldn't have to continue the same legacy stuff, but... When your news stories are indoctrinating children and are grooming children into a cult, uh, you know, and uh, encouraging children uh, in, in these mutilating mutilations and in this woke ideology cult, all this stuff, uh, people don't want that. We're seeing homeschool rates higher than ever, which I love to see. I was homeschooled. <laughs> so I definitely think that's great. And I'm grateful that I wasn't indoctrinated. Uh, and I can't even imagine the way things are right now is so much worse um, with public schools and all that. So yeah, but anyway, yeah, they're, they're pulling out the big guns now. They... They have been, uh, they're really desperate now. And I feel like they're trying to reach, they, they, they're trying to reach the base crowd. And they're also just trying to reach, okay, this is what worked before. This is what made us money before. Let's just continue. And in my opinion, their best way to see any ounce of success with that is going to be Make the stories good. Don't insert any politics. Don't insert any ideologies. Don't just just stick to good stories like you used to do. Okay. Don't obsess about every character's identity because we're all human or toys that look like humans. <laughs> when you obsess everything about identity or or sexuality all this stuff that kids shouldn't even be thinking about their sexuality their children what the crap dude why are we even having to say this i don't even know man but at the end of the day this is just very telling this is great to see that they're not succeeding in this 
they're not succeeding in everything that they they've been trying to do. Okay, everything they've been trying to ruin with everything we love and the message that they are forcing on children. It's good to see that it's not succeeding. We, I feel like the tides are turning. We're seeing in gaming, like I mentioned with Hogwarts Legacy, and we're starting to see this in entertainment as well because all the stuff that is pandering toward the the woke mafia, okay, the whacktivist mafia, it, they're tanking. It's all tanking. It's all failing. So let this be a lesson that maybe, you know, making good stories and getting out of these cult ideologies and all that, maybe that's what people want to see. So let's hope that this means there are better things coming, uh, not only out of Disney, but just in general with entertainment. I am so ready for this because entertainment, TV shows, movies, all that have been trashed, dude, for the most part. There are some exceptions, some diamonds in the rough. But they have been so rare. People are starving for good entertainment that isn't cultish and isn't just filled with all this satanic ideology. So anyway, there you have it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom. I won't obey.